this is going to be titled Count Your Blessings. I want you to understand that we need to really start looking at our blessings instead of our problems. Looking at our problems is what keep us down. It's what keep us frustrated, it's what keep us miserable. But we should be able to live above that as being the child of God, as believing in our Holy Father, the one that take care of us, count your blessings, see all the good things that he have done for you, the things he have took you through, the things he have brought you out of, count your blessings. You was able to wake up this morning into another day. You woke up as a child of his. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. You got clothes on your back. It only happened because of God. You got a job. It only happened because of God. You got a sound mind. It only happened because of God. We need to always start looking at counting our blessings. We got to count our blessings that we have a child or children. That was a gift from God. God gave that to us. We need to count our blessings. Even when you was out there messing your life out, he took you through it. He brought you through it. He brought you out of all the misery and brought you into peace, into joy, and into love. You need to count your blessings. So you need to count your blessings and see what God has done. Sometimes when we get this new life going, we get a tendency to think that we got it going on all of a sudden and everything is all right. And we that guy or that girl, but really you understand we are nothing without God. And if you don't remember that God is the one that made the way for you, you're going to forget about your blessings. And when you forget about your blessings, you're, gonna really, you're not going to see the blessings that he's doing for you. See, but if you ever lose track of the blessings, and you get to worshiping your blessings, and forget about the blessing, guess what? That's a bad thing to happen. So you need to really just start counting your blessings. And when you count your blessings, you need to tell Jesus, thank you. You need to tell the Heavenly Father, thank you. You need to let them know that you appreciate this. You need to look, let them know that you appreciate the blessings that they give you. You need to look at your blessings. Don't look at what you don't have. Look at what you do have. You know, matter of fact, look at where you used to be. And look at where you're at now. Remember, it's only by the grace of God that you got here, and that was a blessing. You need to look at your blessings, whatever they may be. You need to realize how he brought you up out of all that misery, out of all them struggles, how he made a way out of no way just for you. You need to count your blessings. You need to really take a look at things, because once you get up, and then once you got it going on, you know what the tendency we got to do? We got a tendency to kick God to the curb. And when you kick God to the curb, you kick your blessings to the curb. And when you kick your blessings to the curb, then your problems start running your way. You start running away because you ain't counting your blessings no more. You're not looking at God. You're not looking at your blessings no more. You're not looking at the blessers, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You quit looking at them. You get to doing things your way. Now you're trying to problem solve this. Now I want this. Now I want that. I'm not satisfied with this. I'm not satisfied with that. You don't have nothing but a whole bunch of level of being uncontent. You're not content no more. You don't get out of being content. And the Bible tell you to be content. But the reason why you quit being content because you quit counting your blessings. You quit counting your blessings. You quit looking at the gifts that God gives you. Instead, you start looking at what you want. You start looking at what you ain't got. You start looking at other people, what they get. You start wanting what they want. And you quit looking at your blessings. You quit looking at what he done for you inside. You quit looking at what he done for you outside. You forget how he brought you out of everything. Because you start looking at other things. And when you start looking at other things, you start missing your blessings. Because you quit counting your blessings. But when you can sit back and count your blessings, say, he brought me from here, he brought me from there, he brought me from here, he brought me from there he gave me this he gave me that he gave me this he gave me that then you can start moving on and you can start keeping him with you you can start looking at your blessings because when you look at your blessings there's peace there's peace but when while you might not even had a good relationship with your family but now that you came to God now you got a decent relationship with your family that's a blessing that's a blessing to be counted. You probably couldn't even hold down a job. But now that you get with God, God, now you're holding down the job. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. 
You probably was wearing used clothes, but now you can buy new clothes because you didn't get with God. That's a blessing. Count your blessings. You need to remember your blessings. Now that you get these things and things looking good for you, then now that you think that you got it made, now you start looking outside. When you quit looking at God's blessings, now you start looking at what you want. Now it's all about what I want. Now it's all about what I need. It's all about what I want. It's all about what I desire. It's all about me now. See, you kick your blessing to the curb because when it becomes all about you, you forget about the blessings that God bestowed upon you. And when you forget about the blessings that God bestowed upon you, you set yourself up for a downfall. You set yourself up for a downfall because you're going to fall down because you're going to try to start doing things your way again. And when you start doing things your way again, guess what? You're going to go right back where you came from because you, you took your blesser out of your life. You're not the blesser of your life. God is the blesser of your life. And the only way you can count your blessings is if you keep the blessing. When you let the blesser go, then you lose the blessing. When you start wishing being a blessings instead of the blesser, then you got a problem. Because then the blessings become your God. And when you let the blessings become your God, that's disrespect to God. When you let your blessings become your God, when you let your blessings rule your life, guess what? Your blessings stop because you start disrespecting the blesser. Because when you start disrespecting the blessed sir who is God, you start stepping away from God. And the more you step away from God, the less blessings that you receive because you're not following the blesser. Because you're not doing what the blesser say do no more. Now you're doing what you want to do. And when you do what you want to do, you end up in financial problems again. You end up back in the ditch again. And you're wondering why you're in the ditch. Why? Because you start chasing, you forgot about the blessing and start wishing the blessings and then you start chasing material things which destroyed you from the beginning anyway. You made that your life again. You made the world your God again. You made material things your God again. So when the material things being your God, which God used for, to give you for blessings, you're making a big mistake. The material things are just a blessing from God. But when you make that material thing your God, and you think that material thing is going to give you something, you think that material thing is going to make you feel better, you think that material thing is going to give you some joy, you think that material thing is going to give you some prestige, well, let me tell you, it ain't going to give you nothing but trouble. It ain't going to give you nothing but trouble. But when you look to God that give you these material things and your honor and your respect and you love God that give you these material things and you be obedient to him and you walk in his righteousness with him. And guess what? And when you walk in his righteousness, he said he would take care of all that. He will give you the world according to his riches, according to the way that he know you need to receive it. But you got to keep him. God as your blessers. You got to keep God first. You can't put your job before God. That's a blessing from God. You can't put material things before God. That's a blessing from God. You can't put your children before God. That's a blessing for God. You can't put your wife or your husband before God. That's a blessing from God. You got to understand the blessings. The blessings are not to be worshipped. The blessings are not to be uplifted above God because the blesser is the one that give you the blessings. The blessings don't give you blessings. You have to understand that the blessings don't give you blessings, but if you want to wish the blessing instead of the blesser, then guess what? You got a problem. So what I'm going to tell you again, and I'm going to say it again and again and again, count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings and see what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings see what God has done. Remember, God gave you the blessings. 
The blessings didn't give you the blessing. So quit worshiping the blessing and get back to worshiping the blesser. Quit chasing the blessings and start chasing the blesser. Quit hunting after the blessings and start chasing the blesser. Quit chasing the world. Quit chasing material things and start chasing the blesser. And the blesser is God. Put God first. To God first. Go after God first and you continue to receive your blessings. But when you make the blessings your God, your blessings going to diminish and you're going to end up in trouble and you're gonna, not going to know why, but I'm going to tell you why because you forgot about the blessing. If you don't keep the blessing first, the blessing is going to eliminate and when you start chasing the blessings, then you're going to have problems because the blessing comes from God. The blessings can't produce you nothing. The blessings can't give you nothing because the blessing don't have power. But the blesser do. And that blesser is God. Do not kick the blesser to the curb. So count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. That's a song, but that song is saying an awful lot. Because if you remember the blessings that God has given you, that would give you the reason to keep chasing after God, to keep loving God, to keep praising God, to keep lifting God up. Because the blesser is blessing you. The blesser is blessing you. Don't forget the blesser. Don't forget the blesser. The blesser is God. None other but God. God blesses. God blesses. God blesses. Satan destroys. Satan destroys. Material chasing destroys. Uh, worldly chasing worldly possessions destroy. Uh, envy <laughs> destroys. But when you chase the blesser, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then you receive blessings. But you got to get with the blessing. You got to keep the blesser first in your life. You need to follow the blesser's instruction on the way of living. And the blesser is God. And the blesser is God. Understand that. And the blesser is God. So seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and you will receive the blessings. So don't forget the blessings, but count your many blessings and see what God has done. Count them. Remember them. Line them up in your mind. Lay down on your bed and meditate. Get on your knees and meditate. Sit back in a chair and meditate. I don't care how you do it, but you need to remember your blessings. And you need to remember that they come from the blesser. And that blesser is God. And you got to keep God first so you continue to receive your blessings. Regardless what kind of blessings they are. Spiritually, mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever they is, they all derive from God. And God is the blessing. And God is the blessing. And God is the blessing. So, with that said, for you that do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior, this is a good time to come to Him and invite Him into your life. And let him be the ruler of your life. The Lord, which means master of your life. And let him be the savior of your life. That you can have a life with blessings in it. So you can have a life with blessings in them. Blessings going to follow. Not saying you're not going to have a little trouble in there. But blessings is going to follow. When you follow Christ, you receive blessings from the Father. That's how it works. Because our God is the blessed servant. Remember that God is the blesser. So, if you like this, come check me out on some more videos on my channel, Thomas Patterson, on YouTube, coming to you the best I can. But I want you to know something. Today is hope. It's hope. It's hope. And that hope you need to place in God, that faith. You need to place in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit so that you can continue to receive your blessing from the blesser. And the blesser is God.